Hey everybody, Stu, AG6AG, and today we're going to learn all about using a terminal program to connect to the terminal on a TNC and send and read messages on a PBBS. Total warning on this one, this is really done for the guys and gals out here in Ventura County that work in the EOCs and do operational readiness tests out here to make sure that our equipment is ready to go in an emergency. We're going to be changing some stuff around and trying some new stuff and part of that's going to be doing messages via the terminal and not in the warm and fuzzy and cozy program of Outpost. Uh, the reasons behind that we'll share in future videos, but for right now, let's get down to the nuts and bolts of how you connect, create, save, and delete a message that you create. All right, well, let's go ahead and dive into connecting to your TNC via the serial port using the terminal program. I am on a terminal program called TerraTerm. Of course, you can use any terminal program that you want. Uh, Putty's another good one. Uh, my goodness, even IP Serial, the program that comes in the Outpost distribution, will work fairly well with this as well. Remember, all the terminal program actually is, is a way for you to interface with the TNC. Um, now, I'm connected on COM3 on this XL. If I hit enter, then I'm going to get my command prompt. And for those of you that don't really get under the cover as much with the TNC and how they all work, there's technically two different modes that we worry about. There's actually three or four, but we don't talk about those. Let's talk about the two that you're going to be worried about. One is the command mode, and the other one is the converse mode. So the easiest way to remember the difference is the command mode is where you're talking and giving commands directly to your TNC, telling your TNC what to do, like connect to something or force a disconnect from something or change your call sign or change your PBBS name or look at status of the uh, TNC, status of the connections what your memory utilization is. There's lots of commands, and I encourage you to look for all of those and learn them. But for what you're going to be trying to do from the EOC is you're going to just want to connect and send a message, right? So let's take a look at the different commands that are available to you and that you need to really know by heart in command mode. You have connect, you have disconnect, and you have control C. Now guess what? Control C really isn't a command that you use in command mode. It's a command that you would execute in converse mode if you had to get back to command mode to force a disconnect. We'll talk about that in a little bit. The connect and disconnect commands are fairly straightforward. Now let's say that I wanted to connect to um, Oh, let's say I want to connect to East County Sheriff's Station. I could do C, and then ECSS is its PBBS name. That's how I connect to it. Now, I'm not close enough to East County Sheriff's Station to connect directly, so I need to go through a digipeter. Well, all I need to do is just type in, after East County Sheriff's Station, type in the word VIA, and whatever digipeter I want to go through. It could be RAS220, um, it could be South, it could be any of those, okay? If I'm just connecting directly though, all I have to do is type in the PBS name. So let's, let's choose a PBS I can uh, connect to directly. We'll just go to HSPLR, that's uh, Los Robles Hospital, or what we call Los Robles, Maine. And I'll hit enter. And now my TNC has gone and established the connection. Now you notice, though, it's just sitting there under enter command. There's that little uh, cursor flashing over there. Notice I lost my command prompt. Why? Because once I connected, I automatically went into converse mode. Now any settings that I send now, or any keys that I send, 
are just being transmitted across the radio waves over to the TNC that I'm talking to. So from here, I have a whole array of choices for commands. And let's take a look at uh, the big ones. Now, I'm, a, I'm not going to talk about J, which is a JSON command, and it really is not anything that you need to worry about when for what you're going to need to do. And I wanted to do as little coverage on stuff that was unimportant from you being able to connect and send messages via the console terminal interface. So we've got B for buy, K for kill, L for less, R for read, and S for send. So buy, well, that's fairly obvious. You hit buy and buy, you disconnect from the far end, right? You tell uh, hospital, uh, Los Robles Hospital, you don't want to talk to it anymore. It disconnects. You're done. Um, kill. Okay, if you need to delete a message on that far bulletin board system, you would use the kill command, okay? You just do K space in the message number. It would delete that message. You only want to delete messages that you have created, and the only time you want to delete that message is when the message is messed up and you want to redo it, okay? If I hit list or L, it's going to list any other messages that the system knows about that you're authorized to see. R would read a particular message, and we would put the message number after the R to read it the same way we would put the message number after the K to delete or kill it. And then, of course, send. Send is going to send a message, okay? Uh, and that basically means you're going to create a message for that PBBS, all right? And we can dig in just a hair deeper here, and we can take a look at what the different send commands actually are. And we've got, of course, over here, we've got send either B, P, or T, right? Send a bulletin, a private message, or traffic. Bulletin, that's obvious. A bulletin is something that everybody's supposed to read. It's informative and it's designed to go to multiple users. A private message is designed to go an to an individual call sign. Traffic is an NTS message. And the way that we do things for Mercy Communications out here in Ventura County, we want you to send a traffic message or an NTS message format. So that's what we're going to send. So, hey, you know what? Let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to cover the format. We're going to go ST. So I'm saying send a traffic message. I'm going to put a space there, and I'm going to have it go to check-in. Okay? Check-in is the call sign I want to go to. Now, of course, check-in is not a call sign, but I'm actually sending it to the check-in tactical. So when somebody looks at the list, they know it's a check-in. Okay? When I hit enter, if I've done everything right, it's going to ask for a subject. So the very first thing I am going to put in the subject line is going to be my tactical for my TNC or EOC, okay? And let's say I'm in TO EOC, right? Thousand Oaks uh, City Hall EOC. I would put TO EOC and then... I would put, let me get rid of this stuff on the screen. We don't need it anymore. And then I would go ahead and put check-in. That's a good enough subject right there. Now it tells me I can enter my message. And at the end, I can either end with control Z or forward slash EX on a single line to save the message. Okay, so now let me just type in a quick message. This is T O E O C Stu at the console. Checking in with no traffic. I'm going to sign it, put my call sign in there. Put my uh, ACS ID in there. Put a couple enters in there. I'm going to 
though capital E X, just like it told me to do up here in the top, right? So forward slash capital E X, I hit enter. Message saved. But is it really saved, right? Well, let me do an L and I'll list and what's going to happen. Oh, there's my message right there. My message number is 511. I know that I sent a traffic message because the ST line is T. Tells the size of the message to check in from my call sign because that's the ID on this machine, on this TNC. The date and time stamp and the subject, TOEOC check-in. So all that information is there. Let's read it to make sure it's all in good shape. And there we go. It gives the path, how I got it there, uh, my subject. And then this is TOEOC, do at the console, checking in with no traffic, and my signature. Now, I don't really want to leave this here, right? Because it's not really a check-in. So I'm going to kill this message by going K and typing in 511, the message ID. And boom, message is deleted. I can verify that by just hitting L, and you see that it comes back as an empty message, right? All right, easy, right? Okay, let's take a look at connecting going through a digipeter. So how do I get out of here? The B, right? That's what I want to use. I want to use the B to say bye and get off this PBBS. So let me put a B in here and hit enter, and it's going to disconnect. There you go, right? All right, so I'm going to just clean this mess up a little bit here. You notice, of course, I am back in command mode. So let me go ahead and connect to East County Sheriff's Station. So I'm going to do a C, uh, ECSS. Via, and let's go via South. South has been doing really well lately for digipeating. And by the way, you're going to have to experiment around with what digipeter works for you. But chances are, if you're in an EOC in Area 2, it's either going to be via South or via RAS220. And it may not be via anything. You may be able to connect directly. So let me go ahead. Let's see what happens. And bada bing, bada boom, there we are. I am connected to the East County Sheriff's Station. I can do an L, take a look at the messages that are there. Well, there you go. I can do a B for buy. And I'm back in command mode. So what happens, though, if I fat thumb who I want to connect to? Let's try connecting to T-O-E-O-C, but let's say I miss it and I hit V, and I go to connect. What's going to happen? Well, it's not going to connect, right? Because there is no T-O-E-O-V out there. So what do I do? Well, I could wait for it to time out, or, right, I can use a D for disconnect, and it will stop trying to connect. Just like that. So, you now have the basics. You now should be able to send your message. So, with that, I'm going to hand it back to uh, you and let you go out there and play a little bit. There will be more videos like this showing more information, but you now have the basics. Get out there and get it done. Well, there you go. Just enough information probably to get you in trouble, but I wanted to try to blow this thing out as quickly as I could. Uh, and I will tell you that you're probably going to be asked to do this at some future ORTs, so make sure you kind of go over it and play with it a little bit if you have a TNC to play with. With that, this is Stu, AG6AG, and hey, thank you for your service, and 73.